Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Darkness Falls series. And in today's episode, well, we're gonna have to get more food and such, but I think our goal for today is to finish setting up the base. I just realized that I was already crafting the blocks, must have left it like that before I closed the world. So, let's go ahead and shift some things around here and get this on our hotbar. Oh, dang it. There we go. Probably going to put it near the trader, but not exactly next to the trader, because they might get deleted if the Horde Knight gets too big. There will be explosions and doom and tentacles and demons. Oh my. So we'll go ahead and put it roughly around here. Just a little distance, nothing crazy. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with this. Very simple, just made out of wood. Oh man, that's so nice. It's a Darkness Falls specific kind of thing. Being able to just right-click once to upgrade a block immediately. Oh damn, I'm thirsty. Wasn't I just at 40? Hydration? Damn. Am I crafting clay bowls? Because I probably should be. I need at least a stack of 15, I'd say. We'll take up a handful of blocks right over here. Start crafting them. I believe it takes 10 per bowl. It's okay if our yard is a little messed up. Damn, I'm already out of stamina? Really? Actually, probably a perk points. Yep. Minor 69er. Yeah. Now you can take points into this perk in segments based on how high your mining tool skill is. So since I've surpassed 10, I can take this first point. At 20, I can go to level 3. At level 40, I can upgrade to level 4. And at level 60, I can take the final perk. That's more or less how it operates. Well, I am losing hydration at Mach 5. What in the world? That's zombie over here. Got to eliminate this guy real quick. <laughs> Does that feel good, buddy? Oh, okay. He uh, kind of flopped around a bit there. That was interesting. Let's go ahead and drink some of this. Definitely need more water. It is draining insanely fast. While we're at it, we'll just take this time to fill our food up too. Cook the rest of our baked potato. Singular. I was going to say potatoes, but we don't have as much as I thought. See, we have 13 of these, which means we need at least two more. Those are on the way. We'll go and fill those in just a moment. Just want to clear some of these zombies out. I guess there's a radiated leftover from last night. Alright, don't power attack. Oh, didn't I put points into bladed weapons? I think I did. So I guess no nuckies for me. Even though it's so much more stamina efficient. Go ahead and make a little dash toward that marker. I'm pretty sure that's still... Yes, it's on a body of water. That's our goal right now. I gotta fill up my clay bowls and start cooking them. Lest I dry out, shrivel up, and die. Oh, I don't like that staggering forward thing that they do. That forward stagger is really annoying. What is stamina? I've never heard of such a thing. I typically don't have any, apparently. Just make our way to this water, try to avoid pissing off too many of the locals. I don't think I could handle more than two or three right now with my stamina. I'm going to have to take out zombies, like I just did there. Good little zombie. Little cadaver, a dummy, a test. Where are the bulls? This one's almost done. Six seconds to go, so we'll just wait that out. But I'm going to have to take out zombies to increase my belated weapons skill, which should be right around here. Yes. And right now I'm using a machete, but I think I would rather use a spear. That sounds more entertaining. Being able to ignore enemy armor in this mod is pretty important. At least I would say so. Let's go ahead and fill up and get out of here. Make our way back home. I might get more stacks of clay bowls at some point, but for now we'll try to operate with just the one. Whoa, hey, where did you come from? My bad. Don't like surprises. Sometimes I just panic and start swinging machetes. See if I can repair my stone ass. I can. Hooray. Almost there. The base this time is going to be very simple. It's literally just going to be a very short, say like five block high tower, into a one block wide hole in the ground that I'll be digging eventually. Let's see, I could make some charred meat, I could bake some apples. Oh yeah, I planted trees, didn't I? Good. All right, what I wanted to do was right here, bowl of water, cook those up, because we're still lacking hydration. Take this corpse while I'm at it, don't know how it got there, and finish up this little project. It's nothing too crazy. We just need to do this five high and then put some ladders inside of it. And we just upgrade it with each layer as we go. And layer number four. It's very simple. After this, we're we'll putting a ladder in the center here, right around this area. And then we're going to dig our base out. Because that's what I usually do. Granted, I usually have more time and I tend to operate a little bit faster when I'm not speaking, but it's nothing crazy. The only reason why we have to do this instead of just digging flat on the ground is that this will entice the zombies to come up here and have to deal with any traps I decide to set, which is of course 
a good thing. We want the zombies to think that it's best to always come to the front door instead of what we had in our hardcore series, the one that was recently botched, because in the hardcore series, we had the problem of never knowing where the zombies were when they were attacking our little home base, our base of operations, and we're not dealing with that in Darkness Falls. No siree, that is not gonna fly. Not even one bit. So instead, oh yes, I don't know if I highlighted this, but in Darkness Falls, you can hold right click and place the blocks at an insane speed. I'm just holding right click right now, and it is is popping off as you can see i gotta pick all these back up mash and e oh, i lost some blocks rough life but it's pretty nice honestly i don't know how kane achieved that because most mods don't have that feature but well done very well done this is in fact only made of wood but as far as i know darkness falls doesn't implement the concept of wood blocks just catching on fire sometimes so we don't have to worry too much let's go see how that water is doing because i'm still only at 16 hydration you can see it on the lower right they're actually given a numerical value unlike in vanilla where you just have a bar and you have to guess that's interesting i have yucca shouldn't i be able to cook this that would make sense wouldn't it oh yes we're gonna have to find a better method for water at some point probably just with a forge and making empty jars because you can do that in this if you just cook murky water like if i could cook this which again i don't know why it's not letting me but if you can it's 10 water instead of five so you can spend half as much ouch so you can spend half as much ouch i personally prefer to pay full price on my ouch because it helps the economy but allows you to spend half as much time consuming things like this it's not too hard to get food and water in darkness falls Unlike vanilla, starting out, you'll struggle to find a potato, but while you have food constantly, you have to figure out what the best food is, and there's a wellness system, so I can increase my maximum health and stamina if I eat good food, the good stuff, not that McDonald's tier baked potato type stuff. Oh, let's see. Oh yes, I still have a quest, don't I? Scrap iron, fire axe, and pickaxe. What? Did I take laborer? I thought I took scavenger. Scavenger. Survivalist. Whatever. They changed the name of it. Yes, this is what we have. So, I guess we'll just do that. Scrap iron. Wait, we'll need leather for that. I can't. I can't do it yet. Which means we might have to quest a little. Just a little questy doodle dandy. We'll finish up this, though. Oh, well. Maybe we won't, because we're out of wood. We'll get more of that. It shouldn't take too much more. We basically just have to set up a little... A bridge, a gateway at the top there. A door. Maybe a hatch. Probably just a hatch. And the goal is actually to make it so that we... Hold on, let me cut this thing down. I think I've made too many of the building blocks. It's where all of my wood went. But we will never be using those stairs. Only the zombies will. We'll be jumping up a ladder on the back. And... As soon as we can, we'll be investing in parkour, because parkour is happiness. I almost forgot to stealth. I have to keep increasing my athletics so I can put points into parkour. I can show an example here. If I open up the action skills, and I click on athletics, you can see the XP right here where my mouse is at the top. Current XP, 560 out of 610. And if I circle around the tree for, we'll say about 10 swings, right there, that was about 10 swings, and then if we open this up again and look at athletics, we're still at 560. XP. Now if we do the same thing while crouching, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9, 10. There we are. So we did all of that while crouching. Now we look at the XP and we have gone up by 4 XP. 564 out of 614. That is why we do everything crouching when we're farming in Darkness Falls. It makes it so that the things that you do are a little bit quieter, which, hey, maybe some people just like a noisy environment, but that's the biggest downfall to it. I mean, I guess you move slow, but most of the time when you're mining or digging or cutting, you're just moving nowhere anyway. You're sitting there and hacking at something for a long time. Unless you set your block damage to 300%, in which case, um, lucky you, I guess. It is fun to play the game like that, honestly, but it trivializes a lot of things as you move into the end game. Not even that, it trivializes the end game, because you're one-shotting blocks with stone equipment. More often than not, if you have 300% block damage, you can take out an entire batch of dirt with a single swing of your stone shovel, which consumes less stamina than the iron shovel and the steel shovel. So it does get to a point of almost irrelevance with some of those things. 
Like, why would I ever upgrade from stone if my block damage is too high? Oh, man, the stone axe breaks super often. I have to get a higher tier one. Being able to craft higher tier equipment and maintain higher tier equipment is much different in Darkness Falls. I think it's cool. It's likable. I like the way that Darkness Falls handles the game because it makes use of the absolute multitude of levels that you typically get in the game. It even gives you more XP than vanilla. But instead, you have more perks to mess with, more important things to invest in. There we go. This part's done. Now the final step to this is to put two scaffolding ladders right here and upgrade them. Oops, right. Can't use the stone axe for that. Gotta use this hammer. So this would be the idea. I come up here and enter this all willy-nilly, but they have to make their way into this spot. Let's go ahead and make this three hull. Make it a nice little three hull. What the hell? Three high. Make it a nice little archway, like so. Then I think we'll use plates on the outside advanced rotation just so i can fit in here a little bit easier like so now we have to get it to flip the other way having to sit here and left click like a madman to get the plates on one side there we go there i won't be upgrading this back side it'll just be nice and open for me of course so i can come in comfortably finish up upgrading this business and then we gotta set ourselves a hatch right there in this doorway i crafted quickly I feel like vanilla is much slower, but we have a hatch right here. Eh, you know what, let's have another one. We are going to need ladders right in here, all the way down to the ground. The upgrades don't matter too much, shouldn't get hit by zombies very often. Do this, and then we do this. You know what, it would make more sense <laughs> to make yet another hatch and put it right here. There, nice layers of defense against the zombies if they're trying to enter my home. Then the plan would be to put blade traps right here and just keep them going forever, basically. And now, we will dig this out as nighttime rolls around. For now, however, we should quest and get more water and food, etc. Certainly not the worst of ideas. However, before we do that, I'm going to put a temporary storage chest, which I should probably start crafting now, inside this little lifted hovel of ours. See if I can fit it over here. All right, they're plates. That makes it weird. I'll just put it up here for now. I'm not too worried. Put some of the things that I definitely don't need on me right now, like 762, not getting a rifle anytime soon. Oranges. Orange. Can't cook it in anything, so whatever. It'll stay in there. The raw meat won't be getting that too often. This, the Yuka military blood draw. Plenty of things that we won't be messing with for a while. There we go. Nice little... Yeah, we'll do the leather too. Nice little inventory clearing so I can carry more things. Also, I guess a zombie died over here. Sometimes that'll happen in Darkness Falls. I don't know why. They just kind of give up or something. <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. Alright, let's pay a visit to the trader and see if we can't... Slip a quest in before the sun goes down. Questing can be highly lucrative no matter which mod you're operating on. I believe. Yes, yeah, I already looted this place so that I could afford a cooking pot. At least it's not wrecked. <laughs> Nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. I mean, what does that make a dime worth? I suppose we should take a look at the books and see what he has. Meat stew. I don't have any mushrooms, so that won't work. Impact drivers, wrenches. I don't care about the rest of it. Weapons and ammo. Does he have anything worth buying? No, just... Ammo. What about the resources? I don't have any money, of course, but it's mostly for future reference. I already have a cooking pot, don't I? Wait, do I? I don't think I actually do. I should probably do a quest and then buy those. Yes, there was something else. Let's see. We'll do a clear. I think we can handle at least one clear. This one's only 200 meters. That works for me. The sun is already beginning to set. We wasted too much time on the base. But we have to have a base of operations set up, and I'm sure we noticed in the previous episode, it's hard to do anything at nighttime in Darkness Falls. Feels like the zombies are headhunting you during that period. Wait, where's the quest marker? Oh, it's not selected. I have to choose it. There we go. Suppose we'll get any mailboxes along the way. You can actually come across books that will give you points into your action skills. So I could find a book that that gives me two points in athletics, which could be pretty nice, honestly. Oh, since we're near the water, let's go ahead and fill up our bowls. Fill that up and get out of here. I watched that go down a layer. Eventually we'll have to find another body of water. Eventually. Oh, there's one. Good thing about towns is that they tend to be quite jammed with little bits of water like that. Right. Suppose we'll loot any of the potentially nearby valuable stuff and then we'll reset the area. Oh, okay. Tanning rack and a welding torch. We'll need those at some point. Just not right now, really. Not anytime soon. Glad that's working stiff for you. Ah, it's good to see POIs that are definitely player made. <laughs> that's palpably player made. Let's go ahead and grab these tomatoes. 
Any other veggies that are kicking it on the ground are welcome. Except for maybe the golden rod and all those. I don't care about them. I apparently woke up the locals. The grill has charcoal. How fitting. Whoa, man. This town is killing my frame rate. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be about the zombie count. It really is just the POIs. So I might be able to just ramp the graphics down a little bit. Vaguely reduce the textures. And reduce how much that lag is affecting us. Wait, why am I using a club? I have a whole knife. There we go. Gotta remember, I... Not a caveman in this playthrough. I'm a hunter. I am a knife guy. Auto rifle parts. Nah. Because I have experience in this mod, I know that trying to piece together your own rifles and guns early on is basically pointless. You'll definitely come across one first. Uh-oh. Strippers in a trailer park? Oh dear. Damn, I really am gonna have stamina problems. I don't want to invest in the actual blade weapons perk, I'd rather go for spears. But in order to do that effectively, we would have to find some leather. Cement? I'll just scrap that into stone, I guess. Well, we've already done all of this, unintentionally, but we have, so we'll just double loot this place. Gotta check that trash. Everything that you loot gives you XP in the scavenger skill. Which is, of course, good. Ooh, a cooking pot. Guess I won't have to buy one of those. Don't have a forge yet, so I won't be crafting them, that's for sure. Mmm, rotting flesh. That too is what I like to cook. The cupboards can be valuable in this compared to vanilla because they can have recipes in them. And even if you already know the recipe, you can scrap those recipes for something called a bundle of skill notes, which in Darkness Falls allow you to craft your own perk books, craft your own class books, so you can take more than one class, and just generally do a lot of good stuff. I... what? Something just blew up. <laughs> what was that? Um, well, I guess I'll just let that continue to be a mystery. I have a building to loot. Anything in the shower? No. It's a neat little shower. I feel like that should be divvied up between all four blocks, but what do I know? Any toilet pistols? Nope, just a human turd. Let's drop that. Oh god, that's massive. Oh, what's up? Your health is low. You must have been the one that caused that explosion. Crap, there's more than one. On the plus side, when they're staggering, they don't seem to swing at you. I don't know if that's new or not, but I like that. Let's go ahead and loot this destroyed bus. Get the goodies within. It's just brass, really. That's all we've got. Anything on the outside I need to know about since it's going to be reset? Some golden rod. Ooh, we get a potato. That's food. What about this shed? Nice shed. You can keep it. Mound of garbage. Don't care. I guess we'll collect these tires. Just for the scrap polymers. You can sell those or something. Scrap polymers are... Ooh, yucca. I can cook that. Probably with the cooking pot or a grill. Like, I need a grill. That's what I need. And we'll start the quest. Start the quest and... Enjoy that little lag spike. Did it reset this car? No. Okay. Oh, so that's what they blew up. This other truck that was out here next to this uh, working stiff truck. Neat. Hooray violence, I guess. I believe there is a zombie right here. Hey, 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 don't go swinging now, buddy. Violence is not the answer. There appears to be quite a batch inside there. There's three, four, five, six of them in one building. Uh-oh. Sort of like a little wandering horde, almost. They don't usually just wake up the entire POI at the beginning. Well, sorry. The fun pimps usually don't. This appears to be a player-made POI, which means, yeah, you can expect that. Uh, uh, no spitting, big mama. We don't want that. Ooh, I got a crit. Just instant decapitation. It is nice being able to get better at things by, well, using them, you know, like you should, like most people do. So if I keep using this machete, I'll get real good at sharp things. Ouch. Well, I took one hit. That's not good. If you take too much damage at once in this mod, you can potentially lose your wellness, which affects your maximum health and stamina. So it'll go from 100 to 99, and that can get rough if it happens too many times. Also, if you die, I think you drop by 5 wellness, and that really adds up. Hoodie. Scrap it. It's just cloth. More potatoes. Hooray. Wait, does that mean it's nighttime? Is it really? Got very dark very fast. Oh no, it's just storming. The sun's still up in the sky. Well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and loot this bus, and then make our way back to the trader. Buckshot. We can just scrap that for now. Take this corpse. Hmm. Corpses. Take this tire. Scrap polymers are relatively difficult to come across, but they are just worth so much money. And we'll make our way back home. Definitely start cooking up some water and more of these potatoes that we've found. Ooh, eggs. Right? 
No, just feathers. Damn. If I remember correctly, in the previous episode, I said that I would specialize in crossbows or ranged weapons. Which sounds kind of fun to me, because I'm already having stamina problems with the machete. So once I run out of this, I could switch to a crossbow. I would just prefer to get a crossbow first, because the normal bows in this are subpar at best. Mmm, trash. Let me see what's in here. Pipes and cobblestone rocks. Just scrap those. I'll make them when I want them. We'll be getting a lot of resources en masse with my particular playstyle, as anybody who's a returning viewer will understand. I like to spend the nighttime digging competitively. Oh, more zombies between me and home. Ah, it feels like I'm already getting better. Took that zombie out in two hits. May seem like a sensible difficulty right now, but eventually we'll be having demons and tentacle monsters and like succubus or harpies, I don't remember which one it is. They're just the skies will be littered with death and the ground no better. But for now, we've got leisure time. More preparation time, really. Yeah, before the sun goes down. Actually, you know, it's pretty high in the sky. I could really do another quest. There's no reason I couldn't. Also been getting a pretty sensible amount of XP from the zombies. Just slowly pedal your attack so that the zombies can't get any extra distance on you. Here we go. I need to put more wood in here. Half a stack should be fine. Cook up these potatoes. Hmm, potato, potato. And the water, and I guess I could just come back for it. Hmm. You know what? No, hold on. Stop that. Take some cooking pots. Clean water. Ooh, I'll do that right now. Oh, they take a minute apiece. Yikes. Fine, we'll sort some things into a chest. See if we can slip a quest in. For now, I'll be entering through the front, but during the night time, it's through the back and all of these will be up. Let's see, anything that is uncommon can go in the chest. I don't think I'll be getting much sand, so we'll put that in there. Oil, uncommon. Mechanical parts, uncommon. I guess pipes, sort of old cash. All right, that'll do for now. It seems like it's much darker than it is, but it's just storming, I swear. The sun is right up there. Bars. Is this thing done yet? No, it takes another seven seconds. Well, I don't want to just stand around, so I guess I'll collect clay. Can't go wrong with that now, can we? Just putting little potholes in my yard, like you do. All right, now it should be done. Ten water. You know what? That's enough. That should carry me through the next quest that I accept. Oh, look at that. The clouds are clearing. We can definitely slip in another quest. That was nice. That trailer house was nice and small. Easy to deal with. Very easy to deal with. Oh, he's got armor and food. This is what I mean. If you look at this stat here, this is current wellness. I would get two wellness if I were to eat this, so I would go from 100 health to 102 health, which is pretty good. Is that a crowbar? If I remember correctly, these just do insane damage to anything that's locked. Might want to take that, but also armor. Oh, right. My brain was still locked on my hardcore run where I could take two quest rewards at the same time, so I guess I'm taking the armor. Let's see, we have a fetch that's very nearby. And we have a clear that's not so nearby. We'll do that one. 330 meters. I can dig that. Stop by our little campfire real quick. Here is a zombie beating up the traitor door. That's not good. We don't need any holes going on here. Oh, there you are. Sneaky, sneaky little janitor. Sleep, my sweet prince. I'm gonna eat some potatoes before I head out. If I can. Is there any potatoes? Yes. Turn this off so we don't waste any resources. Don't need that wood just burning away. Then we'll drink this water. Now you can make empty jars and turn them into murky water and then consume them, but as far as I know, they just disappear once you've consumed them. Let's go ahead and just switch this bandoiler over to the good armor. The only downside to upgrading the armor is that that's going to be more costly to upgrade. Oh, right, I should be cooking the murky water too. Might as well, there's no point in keeping it on me. So we'll set that out and then go do our quest. Mmm, corpses. I think if we rush this, we can finish it before the sun goes down. If the sun does go down before it's over, well, crap. I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Consequences of our actions and all. Trying to collect as many veggies and potatoes and such on the outside of the town as I can, because that's going to be our main source of food for now. Like how we've basically just been eating potatoes since the start. Once I get a grill from the trader, who will be open at night time, which is going to be great, but once I get a grill from him, we should be able to cook many different things, including the yucca that I have. That might end up becoming a standard meal choice for our little household. What do we have here? Paper. Let's see. Let's grab this yucca over here on someone's lawn. And boom, power attack. We can occasionally afford to do that. One of the great things about bladed weapons in this is, of course, bleeding damage. Hitting something once with a machete can be okay, or any bladed weapon really, 
you'd be okay. But there's a very high chance, and the higher your skill level gets, the higher that chance is, that you will cause a bleed proc on them. So they'll just start taking time time over damage. No, damage over time. That was a weird jump, buddy. It's a tanky janitor. Can you just... Thanks, chief. I appreciate it. Eventually, I'll start proccing bleed procs on them, and they'll take damage over time. One attack will do... Even if it only did 50 damage, the bleed over time will cause like another 150 if I were to leave them alone. So I'll be able to hit a zombie in a crowd, and as long as they're not super strong, like demons or radiated or something, you can basically bank on them dying not too long after. Um, I don't know if I want to walk through here. There's usually dogs in the junkyard. Oh, taking it nice and slow. Oh no, there's just a doctor by some tires. What are you doing over here? It feels like a weird drug deal reference or something. Doctors in the junkyard. I do want to get a wrench so I can start taking apart the tires for, well, actual tires. Because you can do that in this. Unlike vanilla, where you pick up a tire and it's not a tire anymore. What's up, buddy? Ooh. I do look forward to when I can just aggressively power attack against everything. Let's go ahead and collect this. Oh, is this like a apartment building? Oh, this might be annoying to clear. Oh no, it's just a building. Rather large one. Not looking to double clear this one. We'll start it out and just go through as quick as we can. Which might not be very quick, because I can barely even break down a door right now. Let's go ahead and repair our stone ass, like so. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Let's go ahead and get through the door before Big Mama starts spitting at us. I don't want to be spat on. Had enough of that with the cops. Nope, none for you. No boom boom. You go boom boom with the toilet, big mama. Ooh, bookshelf. Let's see, farming tips. Okay, this will unlock the farming tips perk by one level. So if I look at that, be in the second section here, perks that you can actually just invest in farming. It's on this last page. So I just learned how to make the mortar and pestle, the scrap hoe, corn seeds, and cotton seeds, all from reading a book. So when you're, ooh, more books. When you're making investments into perks in this game, this mod at least, you want to be mindful of what might actually be worth it and what might not. So I just learned how to, well, I didn't learn how to, I read how to get better with bladed weapons. Let's see, can I repair this thing? Probably. Only well, takes about four seconds. And it's back to level one instead of four. Things will degrade if you're not good at crafting them in this. I suppose we'll just loot things real quick since we're not being attacked. Coffee beans, I guess they could be considered valuable based on who you ask. So we'll take them. And that's all the looting we need to do. On to the next door. Not sure how I'm going to handle this during nighttime. We definitely need to prioritize increasing this blade skill as fast as possible. Gotta get it nice and high. I think this door to our left just leads to the backyard. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that one alone. You get to live another day door um what is this suitcases scrap polymers I suppose i'll take this one too oh i just woke something up I think outside actually okay well, you know what we'll beat down this door maybe there's a garage outside that could be it man this is slow let's use a power attack yeah one singular power attack took out a quarter of my stamina okay this little i guess this would be like a garage or something this counts as the poi i wonder what an infested cache is going to be like and an infested clear even in Darkness Falls. I've never done one. Oh. Oh, she's just knocked over, not dead. Now she's dead. Everything is right in the world. I don't care about the painkillers or the bandages. We can get rid of those. Loot this. I can feel the sun going down. It's not good. But there's not much point in rushing. We're gonna have to walk our way home in a pack of nightly zombies anyway, so just get ready for that. Forged iron, should I keep it? Uh, I guess so. It's gonna reduce my movement speed. Read die, don't need it. Piles of garbage. Mmm, clay. Take some bones. Oh, my scavenging skill went up. Wonderful. We get a lot of benefits from that, because it affects our loot stage every time that that increases. Oh crap, there's a second floor. There's something above. Got to take a peek at that. What's up here? No zombies? Just an empty room. Could be a neat little place to base, but I wouldn't be doing that right now. Where's the sun? Where is it? Right around there? Oh yeah, it's gonna be nighttime, at least on our way back. So we just have to clear the second floor here. That's our goal. Repair the stone ass yet again. Not too worried about this POI, I'm just worried about the trip back. That could get troublesome. Now I can still attack through doorways. Right, good. Oh, that door was unlocked. Uh oh. Well, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Anyone else in here? No, just the one behind this door? Oh, this is also unlocked. <laughs> but it's barricaded. Why? Why would it be like that? Let's check this clothes pile. Lucky goggles. Don't mind if I do. Why is there a door behind this shower? That's weird. 
Very weird. Take that chair and scrap it. Good chair. Check these bookshelves and then go handle whoever's making all that noise. Forge ahead. Well, I think I just learned how to make forges. Awesome. Now I'm better with pistols too. Toilet pistol? No, just more turds. Amazing. Uh, medicine cabinet. Just claw. All right then. Upsy daisy? Well, let's check the nightstand first. Sewing kit. Sure, I'll take it. Might as well. Suit jacket? I don't have anything else on that slot, so I'll take it. More luggage. Sewing kits. Loot these shoes. Mmm, shoes. Nope, keep the boots. They're the real priority. Is that a zombie? This is a zombie right in front of me. Oh, wait, she's just walking right past me. <laughs> you gotta use the bathroom? All right, you can do that. I'll close the door, give you your privacy. I have things to do up here anyway. Go to loot these bird's nests. I don't know what they're doing up here, but... Oh, there we go. That cleared the entire quest. Awesome. And we've got our super loot up here. The end loot. Ammo piles. Yeah, just as expected. Never actually ammo. Oh, this one actually has shotgun shells. Hooray. It's gotta be a Darkness Falls tweak. Sounds like she's having a real growler in that bathroom. Yeesh. Well, wasn't anything too amazing in that box, so we'll go ahead and check the car parts box. Tires. I guess we could just sell those for now. We can get them pretty easy later on. Wait, higher tier stone shovel. Scrap mine, keep this one. Drop the oil shale. And now we just have to beat up this damn chest. How dare you? Wait, hold on. It's not locked? Amazing. I can't believe it. It's... it's... beautiful. Wait, I lose 4% movement speed just for wearing this? I don't think so. It's not happening. Oh, done using the bathroom, Missy? Ouch. I hope you washed your hands before you slapped me. Let's go ahead and take this corpse and make our way back home. Oh, there's another bird's nest here. Oh, howdy, Missy. Well, it looks like they still can't attack up ladders, so we're gonna have to try something with that in this series. I've got the other hardcore Horde Night Every Night series going on, but that doesn't mean we can't use the ladder base in both series. I don't believe anybody set those rules at any point. Oh no, getting hungry. That means my maximum stats are going to be reduced. Let's make our way back home. Maybe look for some potatoes to eat. Where is home? Back this way. The quest is done, right? Yes. Okay, I'm not just being... Weirdly forgetful, this is the path we took prior, so we'll just make our way back through the junkyard. And then go around the town, because I'm not looking to pick a fight with everybody as the sun goes down. Mars, what is this? Is this more tomatoes? Damn, I was hoping it would be potatoes. We've got a cooking pot now, the only thing we have to buy is a grill from the trader. Everything else can be left alone for now. Let's go ahead and get these oranges. Mmm, oranges. Bird's nest, anything good here? There's I get more for beating the thing up. There we go. Should probably keep doing that if I'm planning on specializing in um archery. Probably. It'd be for the best. Here's another one. There's a lag spike there too. We'll break these down. The more feathers, the merrier. Oh, there's a lot of these. Wow. On to the next one. Think we'll have to spend the night digging holes and collecting stone. We're gonna want to at least make our horde base out of cobblestone minimally. If we were specking into laborer instead of the survivalist class, I could have potentially... Corn seeds? Uh, maybe... Nah, don't care. If we were specialized... Oh no, it's definitely nighttime. I can see the rads. If we were specialized into laborer, we could have potentially had concrete before the first horde night. Yep, she's running. You wanna come and play, lady? Fine, let's play. Well, it's dark. And now she's dead. Let's go ahead and just get into stealth mode and make our way into the trader. Hopefully the door doesn't make too much noise. One zombie over there, and I don't see any others in the area. So, to the door we go. Do do do. Checking the audio. Yep, that's loud. That might attract the zombie over. And then make our way in through the back door. Man, it's dark. I can barely see what's going on. Right in through here. You haven't let any of your own zombies in, have you, Wrecked? I mean, Hugh. Screw Wrecked. Let's drop these sticks. All right, we have iron chest armor, which is great and all, but I really don't want to lose more mobility. I barely have any as is, and stamina per second is a big no-go. Pipe pistol. Never gonna use that. No way, no how. I might just take the food, oddly enough, or the water. Yeah, I like the water. No, the water's infinite. I can just keep filling up the bowls. We'll take this for the wellness. Actually, this gives wellness too. Sure, we'll take the mineral water. Thanks, chief. He looks pretty, uh, ominous in the nighttime, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he does. Here, take these tires, chief. They're all yours now. If I remember correctly, what I was looking for was a grill. Singular. One grill. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. I do love hotcakes. Alright, see you later, Hugh. I'm out. I gotta get to my base so I can start digging quietly in the dark like a lunatic. Man, it is dark. 
Like I've already said that several times, but I'm just not used to playing without a headlamp. It makes it spookier, that's for sure. Oh great, now I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna start having stamina problems. Is that a bear? No, that's the car. Right, car. If you're looking at a road, and you think you see a bear, use your logic. It's probably a car. Darkness Falls is difficult, but it's not that difficult. What is that? Oh, there's a zombie over there. Somehow she didn't hear me open up the campfire. Let's <laughs> see you later. I'm gonna go and drink this. Oh no, I can hear them moving. You know what, I'm gonna kill this thing before it gets in the way. Come here, missy. Arlene, I'm coming for you. I don't know when I'm going to... Here we go. Ouch. That's a good time for a power attack, certainly. <laughs> Not that you could visually confirm that there was a power attack, it's too dark. Just keep drinking this water. You know what, let's take the mineral water, increase our wellness. Mmm, wellness. Put this in here, and that gives us more options to cook things. Like the yucca. Go ahead and cook those up now. Grilled tomatoes might do that too. I'm gonna want to plant tomatoes at some point. I am running a little low on food. Sure, we'll grill these tomatoes. Yucca, eight food per. Not bad. Not bad at all. Go ahead and drink two more of these while we're at it. Let's see, should we bother with boiled eggs? I saw those prior. Takes bowls of water and eggs. Nope. Not unless they give a lot of food. Grilled tomatoes? I'll eat those. In the last batch. That should probably do for now. Now, we have to step into the dark. Where is our home? <laughs> I can't see it because there's trees everywhere. I'm gonna have to put a torch up or something. And then, oh, there it is. You can barely see it out of the dark here. Let's go ahead and put the torch on the wall. Actually, I might need it while I'm digging. Never mind. So I don't think I can jump while... Yeah, I can't jump enough while crouching. So I'll just jump my way up here, open up these hatches, and we begin digging. Oh dear. Am I going to catch on fire if I put the torch below me? It's only one way to find out, right? I can't, because the ladder is technically here. I guess we'll have to go deeper. Well, I'm going to be digging a hole in the dark, and I think this calls for a time lapse. So, I'll see you guys when that is done. And that was the morning ring-a-ding dog. However, with it came a bit of a wandering horde that almost murked me during my little mining session. I could hear them walking around above me. <laughs> Only a little uncomfortable. But I think we're gonna have to take care of them at the turn of the next episode. I'm not ready to deal with that right now. So, they, wow, there are so many of them. Look at them. There's, what, it's like 10 over there. There's a nice little batch over this way. I didn't even change the settings. That's just normal Darkness Falls. But this has been Episode 2, the Darkness Falls series. Thank you all for watching. That's freaking me out a little. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.